All right, Shalom Akim, Shalom Yasharala. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachach Madash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew. Also, I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And also, want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible. We risk their lives doing so in efforts of waking up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, this is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay, and so as you can see on the screen, I have an article here, um, and it reads, uh, Inching Closer to the End? Question mark 2021's Doomsday Clock, uh, ominously stuck at a hundred seconds away from midnight okay now um what i want to uh you know attack in this lesson is um you know of course um you know the prophets of the most high are israelites okay but nonetheless okay this devil um has built himself up okay to the point where he has developed a god complex okay to the point where he feels like he is God, okay? So, he has done the necessary things, okay, to pretty much, you know, time up, okay, uh, 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 um, the end of his demise, ultimately, okay, through the scriptures, okay, because they are at his disposal, okay? Now, as far as him being in the spirit and receiving the benefits of, uh, of having an understanding of the scriptures, uh, that that's that's null and void. That can't happen. Okay, but nonetheless, okay. Far as um, you know, seeking out the secular history and and doing uh, archaeological digs and looking at the relics. Hey, he can do that, man, and he has done that. Okay, and that's why he has a doomsday clock that is pretty damn close to uh, the timing of the scriptures. Okay. So, um, and, and, and we, we, uh, the scriptures tell us that, uh, the heavenly father has given him the ability to do so. Okay. So, uh, we'll read a little bit of this article and then we'll get some precepts and, uh, close out and Lord willing to edifying. Okay. So, uh, let's read a little bit. It says the, um, what is the doomsday clock? The bulletin of the, um, uh, of the atomic scientists founded by Albert Einstein and students from the University of Chicago in 1945 created the Doomsday Clock. Each year, the clock is set by the by the Bulletin Science and Security Board in consultation with the Board of Sponsors, which includes 13 Nobel uh, uh, laureates. Okay, and uh, when you go into that uh, Nobel laureates, it's uh, pretty much. Uh, you know the, the the most the highly touted uh, scientist that uh, Esau Edom has, okay, in which he leads on, okay, and that's really uh, uh, what his um, what his um, agenda is, okay, basically to take the world from believing in uh, in a higher power, okay, um, which the world ignorantly, ignorantly calls God and Jesus, okay, taking uh, the world. From believing in those entities to believing in him and then ultimately his science okay but you know not him not understanding the word science simply means to know okay and who can know more than the Heavenly Father you see but like like I said he has that God, God complex and he feels like he is God you know so we'll read on it says basically the clock provides a metaphor for how close we are to a um, humanity ending catastrophe okay and then you know of course with anything with Esau you know they're gonna be bones in it okay because there will be no uh, uh, what, what does he say uh, a humanity ending catastrophe okay why because the Heavenly Father said that he created the world to be inhabited and the nation of Israel shall never depart from him Okay, so what is this damn devil talking about? Okay, but really, it's him being in the spirit of a spoiled brat and a, and a sore loser. Okay, why? Because he knows that you know, uh, according to the prophecies and in the timing and secular history, 
that it, it, his time is almost up, man. Okay? So just like a sore loser, you know what? Since it's my time to go, I'm going to take everybody with me. Okay? Which the Lord is not going to allow, by the way. It says, according to uh, physics world, since the mid-2000s, the clock setters have also been uh, factoring in the risk of climate change and more recently, the threats of disruptive technologies such as artificial intelligence, okay? And look, like we always say, man, this this damn devil, okay? If he was left to, uh, to rule uh, uh, longer than the bounds that the Most High set, he would destroy it's all a civilization, man. Okay? That's why the Lord said he's going to shorten up the days. Because if not, there'll be no flesh to be saved. Okay? And he's pointing out things that are going to uh, uh, lead to, uh, uh, quote, unquote, um, humanity ending catastrophe. But guess what? <clears throat> all of the things that he's naming are things that he's created. Okay? Ain't no Jake's creating artificial intelligence. They may work on the board to help develop it. But Jake, Jake ain't at the forefront of that, man. You see? It says, um, yeah, they speak on climate change and uh, threats of disruptive technology such as artificial intelligence. Jake ain't got their hands in that, man. That's you damn devils. You see? It says the clock was originally set to seven minutes uh, to midnight. And has since moved closer or further away from the dreaded 12 o'clock position. The farthest it has been is 17 minutes after the end of the Cold War in 1991. Okay. Um, okay, let's read this. It says, why is the clock set at 100 seconds from midnight? It is 100 seconds to midnight. We are now ex expressing how close... The world is to, to catastrophe in seconds, not hours or even minutes. It is the closest to doomsday we have ever been in the history of the doomsday clock. We now face a true emergency, an absolutely unacceptable state, uh, state of world affairs that has eliminated any uh, margin for error or further delay. Rachel Brunson President and CEO of the Bulletin said in a statement, the hands of the doomsday clock remain at 100 seconds to midnight, as close to midnight as ever. Rachel Brunson, uh, president of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists, said in a statement, Brunson called out the lack of faith in the science and overall lack of preparedness for the coronavirus pandemic. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'll put uh, the link in the, uh, and I, th I believe that's pretty much it on that. Uh, now they have a little more, but I'll put the link in the uh, inbox, I mean in the uh, description box, uh, so the brothers want to continue reading on, okay? But um, the point being, man, look, okay, are we going to give Esau the credit for understanding when the, the, the times uh, of the end are? Of course not, okay? Why? Because... He reads the scriptures, okay? Like I said earlier, as far as him getting the spiritual vibration and the value of the scriptures, that's impossible. Now, as far as the things that are black and white in the scriptures, he has attained that, man, okay? So, uh, 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 let's prove that. Let's prove that through the scriptures, okay? This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 28, and we're we'll starting at the top. Ezekiel 28 and 1 it says the word of Yahweh came again unto me saying son of man say unto the prince of Tyrus thus saith Lord Yahweh because thine heart is filled up and thou hast said I am a God I sit in in the seat of God in the midst of the seas yet thou art a man and not the most high okay and guess what this is speaking of the prince of Tyrus right but guess what guess who else embodies this same vibration the nation of Esau Edom, okay? And as, you know, secular history goes, this devil ha has set himself on the throne of the Most High, okay? Out there in Israel. And not only that, but also proclaimed himself to be the chosen seed, okay? And took down the images of the true power, his son, and set his images up, okay? 
So hey, and, that, and that's really that that goes with uh, being a, a, a world leader or a world power, okay? Because the Most High sets you up and gives you that delusion that you've done this, okay? And that's why when you read Psalms the seventy fifth chapter, it says, "Lift not thy horn up on high, exalt not thyself," okay? Because promotion cometh neither from the east nor the west, okay? But from the Most High, who put it down one and set it up another. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, but that comes with being a ruler. You get that God, God complex, especially if you're a heathen. Okay, because you don't have that that download of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, so and you don't really have that full understanding on how things work. Okay, because the scriptures were not given to the heathen. Okay, so they they set themselves up and think that they're the Most High, just like Nebuchadnezzar did, man. And the Most High had to humble his ass down and make him eat grass like a bull. You see? But that comes with being a ruler, man. Okay? And that's exactly how Esau Edom is moving. Okay? The Most High has let him amass up his weapons. Okay? His power. You know? Uh, 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 his servants. And he thinks he's God. Okay? He says, I sit in the seat of the Most High in the midst of the seas. Yet thou art a man and not the Most High. Though thou set thine heart as the heart of the Most High. Verse 3. Here's the point. It says, Behold. Thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Okay? And guess what? Some of the secrets are the prophecies of the scriptures. Okay? But here it is. It's saying that there is no secret that they can hide from thee. And that fits Esau, Edom to the T. Okay? And that's why, uh, okay, there's no coincidence that his doomsday clock is pretty damn close to what the prophecies are saying. Okay, because as far as prophecy goes, all we have left is the mark of the beast, okay, which is the RFID chip, okay, in his third war's war. Okay, so they're pretty close when they say there's 100 seconds uh, left to 12. Now, we're going to give them credit and say, yeah, it's actually 100 seconds according to how they break down their seconds. Of course not. Of course not. Why? Because they're basically plagiarizing, man. They get their understanding from our book, man. Okay. But like I said, I wanted to bring out the fact that, you know, he does have that understanding, okay? He does have that understanding. Okay, let's get another precept. This is uh, Revelation chapter 12 and uh, 12, Revelation 12, 12. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Okay, who's that speaking about? The high holy host, Yahweh Shai, and the angels, man. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Okay? Why? Because the Most High is getting ready to send them back, man. Okay? And one of them, uh, 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 you know, uh, you know, one, one of the valiant works that the angels and Yahweh Shai are looking forward to is, hey, ultimately taking, uh, uh, ridding the earth of wickedness. Okay? And redeeming back who? The children of Israel. You see? That's why I say rejoice ye heavens. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, okay, and whenever you read the scriptures and you see the word devil, it's specifically speaking about who? Esau, Edom. Okay? Because the word devil simply means deceiver. And who has been more deceptive than the nation of Esau, uh, Esau Edom? Okay? The answer is no one. Okay, it says, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. And here's the point, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Okay, and how does he know it? According to the prophecies and what validates it? His doomsday clock, man. Okay, the scriptures say he's wiser than Daniel. Okay, so in, in that, and that's a heavy statement, man. Because we read the scriptures and see how wise Daniel was, okay? Being made to interpret dreams that he wasn't even taught, uh, 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 told about, you see? But the Most High saying, look, thou are wiser than that. Why? Because they've done, they put the money in to do the archaeological digs, okay? Lord knows what they have under the Vatican, you see? But they've done a diligent search, okay, to, to, to understand the times that we're living in. Okay, and that's why when we read Revelation 12, 12, it say, he knoweth that he had but a short time, he coming down with great wrath.
like that spoiled brat, man. Okay? But the point is, he knows his time is almost up, man. Okay? So, um, yeah, I believe I hit the point, and Lord willing, this was edifying. With that, I say shalom.